Kelly Ward and I did it again. Hey, what up, welcome back. So before this video starts, I need to introduce a few key players. This is our neighbor, Pat. Put that away. This is his wife, Bert, and this is their best friend, Tom. Did you get that? So Pat plays the keys in a southern rock band called the Dixon Bandits. Think Leonard Skinner, Marshall Tucker Band, and the Allman Brothers. So a few months back, Tom came up to me and said, Pat and Bert are going out of town in a few weeks. Will you paint a mural using the Dixon Bandits logo? Hell yeah, let's do it! Yay! Yay! All right, I'm gonna go get started now. Oh my God, it's so hot in here, but outline complete. It's primer time. Okay, we're back. Day two, uh, the wall has been primed and all my artwork has been traced on it. Let me show you. Kate came over with the print out of the artwork, so it's uh, a little easier for me to produce. Just here for the heavy leg work. <laughs> so this whole mural will be done in Sharpies. My favorite thing. It's gonna be black and white, but then their logo will have their red, white, and blue. But first, I have to get these pens ready. Come on. All right. Okay, so do you see these stars? Yeah, stars have to be white, so I'm outlining them in this fine tip blue Sharpie, and then I'm gonna go in with a thicker Sharpie, but this part, that part's gonna be a bitch. Step one is done, now it's time to color. So hot. Uh, my marker, I have to come back and get it working again, it kinda stopped on me, but do you see how far I am? Too many stars. All the stars are done. It was very tedious, but now we're moving on. Let's go. Can you hear these cicadas? I hope this doesn't ruin the video. The color part of the mural, the blue and red, it is complete. Now the rest of it will be all black, black and white. I'm thinking it'll go a little quicker. I'm liking how it's turning out right now, so I better get to it. Okay, progress report. We got this section coming along. We have the logo. It's popping very nicely off the white. Um, but these, these things that Kate brought over, they're a lifesaver. Since my, my designs are so wiggly and kind of confusing, intertwined with everything, it definitely helps seeing this. Uh, it helps me stay on track and stay in the line, so. Thanks, Kate. My apprentice came to help out. That rocks. <laughs> We're at the last step. Uh, I have to do the dot patterns in this mural. And I would also like to ask future me why I didn't listen to past me when I specifically said don't use dot patterns in the next mural. Hey past me, it's future you. I thought I'd have a better answer by now um, filming that, but I don't and I, I just like dot patterns so um, I need to get used to painting them. Great. The dot patterns are done, they're in, and now the last thing I need to do is I'm putting a black stroke around the white. The mural is finished. We got dot patterns, we got color, we got stars. Now all we need is Pat to get home so he can be surprised by the mural. Also, the next time you see me, I will be showered. Pat and Bert are on their way home, and we're headed over. We're coming for you. How was the show? Something happened. What? A bad thing? We had to cover up this wall. Oh god! Oh. Do you like it? I, I love it. I love it. Did you do that? <laughs> Pat. What? The mural. Do you like it? I love it. Perfect. I love it. This is Pat. Not Pat right. rocks. <laughs> I'm so stoked that Pat liked the mural and that we were even able to pull off this surprise. Pat, if you're watching this, I am now taking Coors Light as payment. So, should I head over now? And that's it, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, okay, goodbye. Is it time yet? Should I do it? No, my design's gonna be way more wiggly than it already is. <laughs>